Mailbag Fridays when we take your questions about the faith and give you the answers from trusted Catholic resources online. The Jubilee Year of Mercy has begun and as with other Jubilee Years, the Holy Father has instructed that special indulgences be available for the faithful through the duration of the year. Our first question is how to get a Jubilee indulgence. First, I'd like to point out that we have a video on the teaching of indulgences. You can find that on our YouTube channel. And if you subscribe to our free daily nuggets, you'll get a five-video series on the Year of Mercy, which includes a topic on Jubilee indulgences. But briefly, to answer the question on how you can get a Jubilee indulgence, for able-bodied Catholics, take a pilgrimage, make a journey to your local holy door, a physical portal in your local cathedral, shrine or other designated church, or to one of the holy doors in the four papal basilicas in Rome. Crossing through a holy door is a spiritual journey that signals the deep desire for true conversion. Also, go to confession, receive the Holy Eucharist with a reflection of mercy, make a profession of faith, and pray for the Pope and for his intentions. For the elderly, confined and the ill, Pope Francis said that they may obtain the indulgence by living with faith and joyful hope in this moment of trial, receiving the Eucharist or by attending Mass and community prayer. For the deceased, through the prayers of the faithful, indulgences may be obtained for the dead. And for all Catholics, perform a spiritual or corporal work of mercy. Pope Francis has also given all priests for the year of mercy the discretion to absolve the sin of abortion those who have procured it and who with contrite heart seek forgiveness for it. This leads us to our next question. Why previously priests weren't allowed to absolve the sin of abortion? Let's clear up some confusion. The issue here is not the sin itself, but the excommunication and who can lift it. And so I refer to an article in the National Catholic Register by apologist Jimmy Aiken who says, The Code of Canon Law, 1398, states that a person who procures an abortion incurs an automatic excommunication. Now in Canon 1331, it says an excommunicated person is forbidden to celebrate or receive the sacraments. Since confession is a sacrament, therefore priests cannot absolve the sin of abortion in confession until the excommunication is lifted. The bishop is the one empowered to remit the excommunication that procuring an abortion causes, except in some countries like the US where this authority is extended to priests. However, in the year of mercy, Pope Francis has allowed ordinary priests to deal with this situation without having to involve the bishop as a special sign of God's mercy and to encourage repentance. I hope that clears up any confusion. If you have any questions about the Catholic faith, email them to rfwmalaysia at gmail.com. We have more videos on our YouTube channel and connect with us on our Facebook page now. This Daily Nugget is brought to you by Redeem for Worship. Ask a question, say what you want to say, write a letter, today is Mailbag Friday. Created using Powtoon.